Good morning, Martin Bart. And I'm out with Paul today again. Um, we've met this morning um, to come down to Burnham on Sea Lighthouse. Now, I've been here once before, uh, but we've come down and met this morning really for sunset. But with the reason why we've come early is, is because I tired is at about 11 o'clock. So we've opened to get maybe a long exposure this morning and then pop here later on at past six, seven o'clock for sunset. So I'm uh, looking forward to this. It's been, it's been about three or four years since I've been here, so uh, hopefully we can get some. One of my, while we're waiting for the water to come in, what I'm gonna try and do is photograph this, these little green bushes and flowers. Uh, see if we can make something of them with the lighthouse in the background there just really to kill a bit of time. One thing I can see a problem gonna be is my shadow, because uh, the sun's directly behind you, so that could actually be a problem. But I'm gonna get the camera out and have a go, literally to kill a bit of time um, while we're waiting for this sea to come in. And then we can start thinking about some long exposures. Right, let's see what we can do. Okay, so I've set up this image. Not over keen on it to be honest with you, but we'll see when we get back if it works. But really, I'm just uh, trying to kill a bit of time. But we've got this this dead um, sort of grassy whatever it is um, in the dew here, and I've uh, I've bracketed the shot, and I've also um, focused on the front of the bush, the back of the bush, and then the the, the lighthouse itself. And I'll probably blend them all together. Um, very bright blue skies, a real bright day, struggling to actually see the camera. Very, very difficult. Um, and we've got this fantastically blue sky, um, which will be all right for the long exposure. I'm not so keen on this type of image. Um, the sea seems to, oh, it is coming in quite quick now. It's coming in quite quick. I think we've still got another, another 20 minutes or so at least. Um, and uh, we've got a little bit of cloud formation be actually behind the lighthouse itself, but as it's not too much interest. But what I am going to do, I'm going to work this area, see if I can find some better grasses. Maybe these green grasses here, they look quite nice actually. Um, so I'm going to get a couple of shots from here. I'm on F16, ISO 100, 125th of a second, I believe, something like that. Yeah. Um, and just see what we can pull out the bag until we get that sea and we start getting the uh, the nd filter on and get some longer exposures <laughs> it's definitely a challenge there's a couple of challenges first of all it's so bright it's extremely bright um, and maybe it'll work better as a black and white that's the first challenge the second one is we have got a bit of a breeze so these these grasses are moving because they're quite long grasses, so they're moving a fair bit. But I'm, I am on 125th of a second-ish. Um, so there's the next challenge. The other challenge is we've got crowd trouble. We've got people walking the dog by. And uh, so I'm, we've just got a picker's moment, certainly in the foreground where they've gone. And then in the background, I'll just um, remove them in Photoshop, just clone them out. Or they might even add to the image, to be honest. But they're, the, they're sort of the, the problems I've got. The other problem I've got is, like I said earlier, I've got the shadow in the in the foreground, so I'm having to take the image, run back a meter, just so I've got no shadow in that foreground. But it's still quite nice, it's still quite nice. The other image I might do is actually, um, I've got my 24 to 70 mil on. I might sort of go in at around 70 mil and blur this foreground out, which I think could look quite nice as well. Um, so they're the options I've got. It's a shame I can't find some sort of flower with a little bit of colour. There's a little bit there, but it's probably not in the right place. Just to give it that extra element as well. But we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go.
we've had a disaster. <laughs> uh, so I've traveled two and a half hours to get here. Met Paul, he's traveled three and a half hours to get here. And we've traveled this morning to get the sea coming around the lighthouse at high tide. The problem we've got is high tide hasn't reached the lighthouse. <laughs> um, so let's just say we've had a slight disaster. So we're not going to get the long exposure images. Okay, so um, we've come to this old shipwreck and it's not far from um, the lighthouse, which is a couple of miles down the, the, uh, the beach there. But we've, we've drove around, we haven't walked it. And, <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I like it, I like it. And it's called ASS Nornan, got it right. Uh, and I honestly thought it'd just be a few bits of wood sticking out the sand well there's a lot of wood sticking out sand and i really like it i like the sand around it i like the reflections that we're getting with this lovely cloud formation above and it looks really nice paul's just dropped his filter system in the sand oh dear <laughs> um i'll get him to come and say hello in a minute so yes um with this changing light you get lovely shadows and reflections and I, I like it, I like this, so I'm going to work this image. I've put the 14mm lens on for now, so we've got a lovely wide angle shot. Um, sort of just off centre of the boat, I'm not sure if I'm going to want the boat in the centre or not, so I'm going, to, I'm going to see, I'm going to decide what I want. For me, I prefer it sort of from this angle, from where we, we're viewing it from here, but I'm not, again, like I say, I'm not sure. But let's have a look at it and see what we can come up with. As soon as he puts his filter system on, I'll introduce you to Paul. Um, YouTuber, a good friend. He's been on a couple of uh, excursions with me now. There's Paul. Um, we've had a good time, haven't we? We well, yeah. it's, it's not been particularly brilliant, as in weather and water. Conditions, no <laughs> Condition sea. <laughs> we've come to see so there's no sea. <laughs> <laughs> but we've had a good time. Half a mile nice. out. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, planning uh, and preparation. Yeah, plan and prep. <laughs> that's what it's all about. But we've enjoyed it, and that's the main thing. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with this. I'm impressed with this. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so first comp, and I'm going to get the image now because I like them shadows that it's casting on the right hand side, which actually balance the image out a bit. I think I actually need to move a little bit further over. Let's move over. <laughs> move the pair of you. There you go. So that's better. I can see that's better now. I don't know whether you can see that, but that seems better to me, especially with this um, this lovely shade that's pointed to the right hand bottom third of the image. Um, we'll just focus on the front of the boat there. Bracketed shot, F16, 80th of a second, ISO 100. Done. Very, very nice indeed. So I'm trying one or two angles around the boat, went to the right hand side. Not sure if it works better on the left, mainly because the, the sun's on the left hand side and we're shooting more into the sun on that side, if that makes sense. I've changed the 2470 so I can put my polarizer on. So we're just, because there's such, so much glare in the sand, so bright. And again, that's why I think it probably works slightly better this side. Um, getting the, the full ship in. Uh, and then what I'm going to try and do is get some more detailed images. What I do like about it is this sand that runs off to the one side. It's a shame it ain't behind it because then it would just lead into the, the vastness. Um, still very nice. I'm enjoying this. I am enjoying this. This is nice. We've come away from the, the boat wreck a bit. I've done some more intricate shots, wide angles. 
um, but we've come away to this side because while the sun's in shadow or behind a cloud I should say um, coming this side there's a lovely flat bit of sand this side um, lovely textures so I've got the boat on the the bottom right hand third of the image some lovely cloud formation um, in the top part of the image with this lovely flat sand on the right hand side I think it looks quite nice what it's going to look like back home is another thing but that's nice that is that's nice I can imagine this sunset the uh, some lovely coloured reflections coming off this water here it would be beautiful and obviously with a little lick of water around it it would certainly re be really nice what I'm thinking of whether um, we can incorporate this flat part of the sand a little bit more I might even move around a bit but pause out at the minute um, so I shall wait a minute, see what happens, and I might just, re and just get some lovely texture in the foreground with the boat in the background. I think that could work quite nice. And we do need this, the sun not to be so bright, so we have to pick as moment. The only problem is this cloud formation now disappearing. We ain't got another cloud for a little bit, so we'll have to just, we might have to bide this time for a little bit longer. But we'll see, we'll see. That looks quite nice, that does. Okay, I'm gonna move over a bit, as long as Paul's finished and I'm gonna just move over here and see if I can get something else. The biggest problem we have got is is this light reflecting. Even though I've got the polarizer on it's it's sort of destroying the image. All we got is the boat in silhouette and I wanted a little bit of detail of the boat. It's still not bad but I think it could be better. I've set the comp up and I'm hopefully Gonna wait for a bit of shade and try and get the image. But it doesn't look promising to be honest. What I like about it is we've got this, I've got a puddle, a couple of nice shaped puddles in the bottom right hand third of the image with the, the boat on the left hand side. And it does look nice. I just need this light to be not as harsh, to be slightly diffused beyond the cloud. Okay, I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy we've come here. I was umming and ahhing whether we should have done. Definitely done the right thing, because this is, has been a daytime filler, and it's been nice. Might be black and white images, I'm not sure yet, but um, I like it, I really do like it. So, uh, chuffed a bit, and mental note for next time. But yes, so we got um, Burnham-on-Sea, two or three mile down the, the, uh, the uh, beach here. Um, and we've we've come. It's only a five-minute drive. Pulled up as close as we can. Walked through a golf course onto the beach, and then it's a ten-minute walk across the beach. So it's about a fifteen-minute walk from the the road, something like fifteen twenty minutes at the most. Um, what I would say is, it's really flat here. So when the sea does come in, it would come in extremely quickly. So you'd have to really hit it at the right time to get a little bit of water around it at sunset or sunrise. Um, you really would have to time it perfectly and it'd be very, very difficult. Um, but loved it, absolutely loved it. We've got Breen Sands just, I can see the end of it here where the, the pegged it off. Uh, there's people parked, I don't know, 500 yards away from me there on the beach. And like I say, we've got um, Burnham Lighthouse, I would say about three quarters an hour walk on the beach that way at a guess. Obviously, like I say, we've drove around, so yes. Great location, absolutely loved it. Um, I'll put the images up now.
right we're gonna head back to the lighthouse now and uh, get ready for sunset which is a long way off uh, so we'll probably go back to the van probably get a cup of tea or something like that and uh, chill out for a little bit ready for sunset can't wait come on <laughs> Lovely. You can't beat a mud flat, can you? back and we're back at the the lighthouse let me just try and put it in shot for you slightly there we go so we're back at Burnham-on-Sea lighthouse uh, for the sunset and uh, it looks quite nice we've got a few fluffy clouds as long as they don't burn off in the sky um, so yeah it's uh, obviously promising but there's no water <laughs> Water's back over into Wales, I think. Never mind. Um, so we have set a, a scene up. We've got a scene there with this log behind us. That um, I'm not sure if I'm going to try have a go at it, but I know Paul is. We're ready for that as a scene there. What I'm going to do is have a look for some more foreground interest along this this area here. Probably later on as the sun drops, maybe get a um, a starburst as it drops behind the the uh, the uh, the structure there and probably some nice shadows um, I flew the drone um, got a couple of images with the drone that I think might actually be really nice And one of the reasons is because of the point of view, we've got a lovely long shadow already coming down to the, uh, from the, off the lighthouse there, so that's quite nice. But what I will be thinking of is, is um, one of my main thoughts is, is these, these feet, these legs on this, this lighthouse. Um, I don't want it to look too messy from here. They look quite good. Um, 
and then I could move five or ten yards and they'll look really messy again and then move another ten yard and start to line up again. So that's one of the most critical things for me, I think, to know it. Um, and then where the sun is actually setting. But it is, it's quite nice at the minute because we've got a lovely cloud behind it. Um, so I might even grab a shot now, I'll see. Uh, it just needs something to pull it together, some foreground, I think. That, that, for, that shot might do because it's got a lovely cloud behind it and then um, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how we get on. Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna get the camera on the tripod and then I'm ready. And then we've got, got another half hour till the golden hour, I think. And things should start to be nice and more golden light and a little bit softer. Right, I've come round the back here because this, this part of the grass, it isn't been, it's not got footprints all over it. It's a little bit cleaner. And I love it's got a couple of little mounds with the grass on and it's backlit, the grass is backlit and lovely shadows. And then we've got the, the, um, the lighthouse in the distance there. Looking really nice looking right down onto the um, uh, sand there. Lovely ripples where the, the, the wind has got at it. Looking really nice. Love that foreground detail. Um, but I think I might drop down low because there's a lot of mess in between the grass and the lighthouse itself. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is just drop down low now and see if that improves the image a little bit and try and get rid of that mid-ground if you like. So let's try that. Okay, I've got this scene set up here and it, I think it's, it's um, I love it, absolutely love it because I love how the golden lights clipping these grasses and then it leads you through into the, the, uh, the lighthouse in the, the top left hand third. It's bloody lovely. Um, I just again hope it looks as nice when I get it back than what it does to the eye. But that that bit of golden light there is just beautiful. I'm just gonna slightly tweak it. That we're just losing that bit of light for a minute. Let me just try and show you. So that's that's the the scene. What I am gonna have to do is definitely gonna have to Photoshop some people out. Uh, the people are moving but I'm not going to bother for a minute anyway just because that light is just dropped behind the cloud and I, I want to get some of this golden light on these lovely grasses here. It is bloody stunning. So we're just starting to get that light come back. It's not quite strong enough yet. I'm actually going to take an image now. So that's quite nice. And I am Focusing on the foreground, not there, there, and then on the lighthouse as well. F16, ISO 100, 15th of a second. Beautiful. So I'm really pleased with this composition. I have just tweaked it a little bit more, put it more central to be honest with you. So we've got this bush in the foreground that's really dominant foreground then we've got the sand dunes running around with little other little bushes dotted around up to a two-thirds of the image we've got the lighthouse a smack bang in the middle two-thirds of the way into the image um, on that top third and I really 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 think it works extremely well and all I'm waiting for now is that light I want some light to just some side light to hit it. And it's coming very soon and it's gonna be lovely and golden. And then I'm gonna move and try and get another few comps. But it's so, it's beautiful and still. <laughs> it is beautiful.
Okay, um, I've set up another scene. I've moved along here and um, what I'm doing is trying to use the shadow as a leading line up to the, the, the lighthouse. And then we are just getting the sunburst through the side of the lighthouse there, but I have to constantly keep moving. Um, but it does look bloody stunning, I must admit. So I have to, con it, if I don't move, the sun's too bright. So um, we have to just keep sort of creeping over all the time. And then the only other thing we've got to compete with is just the, the people walking by. I'm trying to avoid them if I, if I can. I think a silhouette of one under the the, um, the lighthouse there might actually work, but I'd rather not, I think. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful finish to the day. What a splendid evening that was. Um, not sure how the images turned out. Trot, like I say, tried to use the shadow as a leading line, um, but it was, it's still fantastic to, um, to watch that sun drop. I love it, absolutely love it. Uh, but I think I've finished. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I've finished. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll um, catch you on the next one.